Hi you guys, I just wanted to pop in before this video starts and talk to you guys about ThreadUp. I've talked to you guys about them before, but it is an online thrift store. If you're like me and you're not good at thrifting, which I am not good at thrifting, I did not get the gift to thrift, I swear on my life I will go into a thrift store and be lost because I just am looking through piles of stuff and I just can't, like I just don't have the eye for it. I like when everything is there for me and I can see it. So that's why I thought it makes it so much easier. You can go through categories that you like and or want to shop through. Like for example, they have a designer category if you want to buy designer items or they have categories of certain things under like 20 bucks. If you guys want to shop at ThreadUp, you guys can use my code EMMA10 for 30% off your first order and free shipping. Let's get into the pieces that I picked out and show you guys them. So first I'm going to start out with the number one thing that I got questions on. I posted a photo in this and everyone was like, where's your shirt from? Where's your shirt from? I'm so sorry you guys, it's from ThreadUp. I don't think that you can get it again. Um, but it's by the brand Attica, A-D-I-K-A. Anyway, it's this white little tee with lace trim. Oh my god, it's the most perfect little baby tee. I love small, dainty little t-shirts like this. So, so, so cute ribbed t-shirt. I wore the pair of jeans. Such a cute, simple outfit. Better yet, the price of this was insane. You guys won't even believe it was under 20 bucks. I'll have the estimated retail price and the price that I got these items for on the screen so you guys can see how much it sells for and then how much I got it for. Another shirt that I got for under 20 is this really beautiful red shirt. I'm not really the biggest fan of the color red, but for some reason, I'm just obsessed with this shirt. I saw it on the website and I was like, I think I need to get this shirt. I really love open shirts, like the ones that connect at the top and then are open. I think that they look really cute on if they don't move around a lot. But I love this one. I solely got it because the trim around the neckline has these little hearts. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it has these little hearts around the neckline. And it has that like lettuce like hem on the neck. It's so, so, so dainty and cute. I was planning on cropping this since it is pretty long. Price will be on the screen. It's by the brand P-E-R-R-E-L-E-T. Perellet. I don't know. Um to pronounce it so i have two pieces from lululemon that i picked out so i got this little tank top and it's pretty long so i'm gonna bring it in to get it hemmed but it's so cute size two little workout tank from lululemon in amazing quality um no pilling or anything on the product it's in great shape so next thing i got from lulu on thread up are these pants that i'm so excited about so these are size mm -hmm. My god, they are that old that look at it has this logo on the inside and it says I belong to and it has your that's insane. Wow. Really vintage. Vintage Lulu right here. These are in the size two and they are a pair of brown flare leggings. Back when Lulu first came out with their flare leggings. And let me tell you, when they first came out with their flare leggings, they were very flattering. I think that the first types of leggings that they ever came out with like the wonder unders and stuff like that way back in the day like 20 i don't know 14 were the most flattering pants ever for some reason so these ones are a little bit of a i'm not gonna say high rise or low rise i think they might be low rise but i think they work as like a mid rise flare pants one of the first flare pants ever and they're in this amazing brown color i love brown and i don't even know if lululemon has brown pants like this anymore but again great quality no pilling anywhere no pilling on the butt or the seams or the inside of the legs like these are in such great shape next thing i got is this great sweater from free people free people sweaters are so expensive and i got this one for such a great price you guys are gonna scream but this is such a cute sweater. One of my favorite sweater brands is Free People. Super big, oversized sweater. It's a size small, but it comes very oversized. So cute on. I wore this in the try-on with the pair of jeans that I actually got from ThreadUp as well. And it's so cute. I would probably wear this with a pair of jeans, like the ones that I got are straight leg skinnier type jean with a pair of rainbow flip-flops and a big sweater if I'm like walking around Newport or something. like going to get like a quick little dinner or going to the sunset or having like i don't know going to dinner or something like that i love 
wearing sweaters especially ones that have like holes like this in the summertime and that are kind of lighter it's very very warm but it is a lighter sweater and it's perfect for the summer the next two pieces i'm actually screaming about they're my favorite pieces that i've ever thrifted ever in my entire life you guys i got a pair of levi jeans not just levi jeans the wedgie fit straight levi jeans which are my favorite jeans ever they fit me so perfectly it's so hard for me to find jeans that fit me good i'm not kidding you guys these ones fit me so 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 well like i said they're the wedgie straight jeans i got them in size 25 um amazing jeans amazing quality they aren't like there there's no holes in them these things are intact like everything they look like they're brand new they're obviously not brand new but they're just great they're perfect jeans i'm so 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 happy they have a little hole on the knee and they're just straight leg jeans you need a good pair of jeans that you can just throw on if say you're going out or you just need something that makes you look absolutely snatched these jeans do and i'm so happy that i found these because they're going to become my new favorite jeans you guys won't see me take them off ever and another thing that i'm really into right now is track pants or such an easy outfit to throw on track pants are a great staple to have in your closet because they go with a lot of basic tops so if you're going out to dinner and you want to dress up a track pants you can literally throw on a pair of track pants and heels and wear like a little mini thick tank top and like a leather jacket over it and call it an outfit like that is a fire outfit right there a pair of hoops and your hair is like back in a bun they're so easy and say it's like during the day you can take everything out else off that outfit put sneakers on keep the tank top and you got a little errands outfit to run a pair of sunglasses perfect these ones are by the brand rebecca minkoff i got them in a size small and they have a waist that you can tighten perfect material light flowy not too oversized but the perfect fit pants so like i said if you guys want to check out thread up use my code emma10 for 30 percent off and free shipping if you want to shop more sustainably thread up is a great option where you get, where you can find things that are current trends or later trends that are vintage that you really love new pieces to add to your closet to spice things up a little bit i love spicing up my closet for new seasons and that's what i did today got some cute staple pieces that i love and need at all times in my closet which is amazing <laughs> morning good morning, uh... good morning good morning good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog Maggie's here, finally. She leaves tomorrow though, so decided to vlog the little day that we're gonna have. And yeah, so I'm good morning. Welcome to Welcome back to my vlog. Bye. Which one? The normal or the surfer? I'm gonna do a little Sephora haul, car home. We just went into Sephora. I needed to get a new foundation. I need to do a updated makeup routine for you guys. Everyone's been asking this last few weeks because my makeup has been on point, and I swear it's the products I've been using. Yeah, it I has need to tell you guys really what's going on. So I'll save the best for last. But Maggie told me to get this Restore and Shine Hair Serum by Goop. Like two. Um, it kind of comes out like a serum, like the droplets. You put two full droplets into your hands, rub it all in your scalp, put your hair in a bun. It says leave it for 20 minutes, but I honestly like to just do like a, a slick bun hours, for the day. Yeah. And then come home, wash your hair. You'll have the softest hair ever when you use this. So I'm really excited I'm about that because that. I use, I have a hair mask in my hair today. So that's why it looks kind of like messy and stuff but i'm excited to use the oil i love hair oils feels so 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 good and then i got a mini so i used to use roller lash in high school i forget how it made my eyelashes feel so i got a mini one to try it out you i really want eyelashes try. in high school girl i know oh my god i've been using i really love the giorgio armani mascara it's one of my favorites it doesn't clump it makes them long but it doesn't make them too too long the 
um, better than sex kind of clumps them a little bit but makes them so 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 long I think this used to make my eyelashes wicked long I want to try it again so I'm gonna try it out see how I like it if I really like it I'll get the full thing um, and then I also got a new NARS Radiant Creepy Concealer in Custard Beauty One. This is my like go-to. I don't ever get any other shade in this concealer. I've only ever gotten medium one. I don't know why. Like my best friend and her mom used to use this shade. So then I started using it when I was like a freshman in high school. And it's the only one that I'll get. And like, if I don't want to wear makeup one day, I'll just wear this. It's the only concealer that works and is good, I swear. But when I'm doing like a full face of makeup and I need to brighten my face up, I like the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And this one is in the shade Silk that I get to brighten up my under eyes, brighten up like any little point and to carve out my cheekbones. And then I got, cause I've been using the Persona Cream Contour lately since I threw away my Milk Makeup one because it was really old. So I just got, they only had mini sizes left, but in the shade Baked, I just got this one because the Persona one is great, but I like this one better for nose contour. Sorry, I'm like making so much noise. No, it's okay. So I like this one better for nose contour. That's my little thing. So nose contour, this, the Persona one, is just like a very natural looking cream contour. And then I also got, they didn't have a full size, so I got had to get a mini, but it's just the Hula Bronzer. I miss my Hula Bronzer. I haven't been using it. I've been trying to use other bronzers and nothing is like the Hula. So I had to go back. And then I am now using, this is the Holy Grail foundation that I use. I really love Hourglass's Hyaluronic Acid Skin Tint. It, I swear, it makes my skin good. Like if I wear a lot of makeup, for days in a row my skin will normally like break out but this one since it has hyaluronic acid in it it doesn't make my it makes my skin clearer like look how clear my skin is right now wow it's and really i've been clear. wearing makeup and like staying up late and like it should be like freaking out it's not this mascara is not mascara what is this this foundation is the best it's the liquid powder foundation it's really matte though very very mattifying so i mean i don't mind it at all it makes your skin look airbrushed completely like every p photo i've posted on my story of this people are like oh my god your skin looks amazing specifically this one no filter or anything i'll insert the picture right here no filter like just the lighting was good and this foundation to make it a little bit more shiny i'll use the charlotte tilbury flawless finish spray that makes it just like really glowy 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 so this is the best and i got this in the shade bare because i have the shade the shade sand right now it's completely the wrong shade i've just been making it like work but it is just not my shade but so i had to get this one so yeah that's everything that i got from sephora my little haul I went to the A-list gifting suite while I was in LA and I picked up some stuff that I'm actually going to show you guys. So all of this is from the Grove Co. and it's like a clean brand to obviously clean your stuff with. Um, so I need to go through that and show you guys what I got because it's the coolest stuff in the whole entire world. I also got a seed probiotic which you guys know I used to take seed in like 2019 and I stopped taking it because I started using another brand. Um, but I'm excited to start using seed again. I love that brand Anyway, so grove. Let me show you. This is the coolest thing ever. They have all of these reusable cleaning bottles So I got four four. No, I think I got What is this one? Oh dish soap dispenser? I got four cleaning bottles a dish soap dispenser um, That's dish soap soap in the back and hand soap. So I have both of them to use and then what you do with the reusable cleaning bottles obviously this one is for like glass cleaner and on the underneath this silicone little cover it has all different like it says glass multi shower um floor stuff like that so you take the bottle you pour one of these little things in there this is tub and tile cleaner this is the multi-purpose cleaner and then i put the glass one in here obviously and they also have another scent. This is the orange and rosemary. I'm doing lavender today because I just love the scent of lavender, but it has three little bottles in here. And basically what you do is you fill up the reusable, bot reusable bottle with water and then you pour one of these in and you have your cleaner. It's so 
cool and I'm excited for that and then I also got these laundry detergent sheets they gave me three different scents I have lavender I have which one's this one I think this is orange um and then this is like their new scent oh peony and fresh fresca fresca and then mango and tangerine yum so i was so confused i thought these were dryer sheets they're not dryer sheets they're actual laundry detergent sheets so you literally throw this into the laundry with like you throw it into the washing machine with all your laundry and it cleans it which is so insane and then i also got more of the cleaner sets so that's another lavender one this is hand soap sheets actually really excited to try these that sounds so fun and then they also sent over some sponges which i have one on the counter already i'll show you guys in a minute a dispenser i need to fill up with soap and then these are microfiber cleaning cloths some reusable produce bags which i'm excited to use for like farmers markets and stuff this is sandwich bags or just like i'll probably use this for like putting things in the fridge and then more microfiber cloths and then these are dish cloths so instead of using paper towels when i'm like cleaning or doing dishes or anything i can just use these cloths throw them in the dishwasher to clean and then also wool dryer balls so a ton of just cleaning household items stuff like that which is great because obviously i just moved into this place and i'll be here for the ne next few months and i didn't have time to get any of the essential items that i might need so when i got this stuff i grow at the a list i was so excited and then i also got a few products from this brand and i got some body scrub i got body oil i love putting body oil on at night it's one of my favorite things makes you so hydrated and soft and then this is the hyaluronic c serum to try out um i've heard so many different great things about this brand everyone loves it and so i'm excited to try out these items then i also got some stuff from good american i got this skirt to wear with like as like a beach cover up or you can wear it as a skirt it's like a tight little body tight to the body skirt and then i got this huge oversized denim jacket this is just a black denim jacket great quality i'm so excited to wear that i don't have a black denim jacket then i got this workout jacket just like a half zip workout windbreaker type jacket i love throwing these on before the gym especially early mornings when it's a little bit cold and then this is by the brand for better days and it's just a tote bag that i can bring to the beach so here's the sponge on the little tray so cute and then the little cleaners look so cute hey guys we're gonna all Burger, you guys. <laughs> Yummy. Literally look like Hailey Bieber's skin. <laughs> yeah. I dropped my girlfriend out of the airport. I'm so sad. She's leaving. We had so much fun the last like two days. I feel like I only saw her for legit two days, but I'm so sad. 
Now I'm headed to meet one of my friends and we're gonna go to the Frankie's Bikini gifting suite, which I'm really excited about actually. Um, I have been seeing stories about it. It started yesterday, today's the last day, but it looks so, so, so cute. And yeah, I can't wait to bring you guys along with me and see what goes on. I'm like leaving the airport right now and I'm completely like it, my, my GPS thinks I'm on something else that I'm not on and it's like I don't I don't know where I'm going I hate airports I never know where I'm going or what I'm doing and I'm hoping that I'm going the right way right now because I'm clearly oh okay yeah I, of course I'm going the longest way um airports stress me out airport exit yeah right okay cool anyway <laughs> I don't know how I'm driving this right now, but it's so confusing. We just met our manager at Air One for a little coffee, meet, say what's up, say hi. I'm so glad I'm in LA now because I, well, I'm in Newport, but like I'm in California because I'm able to, obviously all of my work stuff is here, my manager's here, like my whole entire like management Even company is here. So I can do things like this and like go get coffee or like go get lunch or go get breakfast or something with my manager. And it's just like so nice to be able to see them in person and talk to them and stuff so that we get to like catch up and like talk about mile, things going on you know rather than it being seat. like over the phone all the time it's like really nice I love seeing people in person that's the one thing with doing YouTube as a job is that it's a complete just like you you work you work for yourself you don't it's not like I'm going into work and I'm seeing people all the time and I have like I mean I have my work friends but it's like it's different like you don't see each other face to face all the time so when you're actually meeting in person and like talking face to face it's really really nice so i don't know that was really fun though and i'm about to take the wrong turn so i gotta stop vlogging <laughs> 